Hello, and how are you today? Thank you for tuning in to this great channel. Welcome, and uh, if you've not uh, subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. If you've subscribed, thank you very much for your support. We appreciate you and we value you. We continue with our conversation on matters leadership. If you've not watched the video on uh, followers, the types of followers, please ensure you do that because it will help you become an effective leader. Today I want to briefly speak on time management because good leaders manage time well. The first thing that we need to understand is that you cannot manage time. You can only manage the events in your life in relation to time. That is why we say that time waits for no king and we all have 24 hours. Therefore, you cannot manage time. You only manage the events in your life in relation to time. And time must be protected. Time must be used wisely. Time must be budgeted. Do not waste your time with unnecessary things. You see, people who practice good time management are more productive. They have more energy for things they need to accomplish. Yeah? They are also less stressed. If you are a good manager of time, you don't have a lot of stress. They are able to do things they want. And they also relate more positively to others. And of course, they feel better about themselves. So it is important for you as a leader. It is important for you as a follower. Remember we said followers lead by doing. It is important that you manage your time. And, and, and probably if you're listening to me, you can um, do a comment on the YouTube comment section and tell me what are those things that have been making you waste your time. Before I give you the strategies for better time management. Because many times we waste time. And as they say, time is money. So you need to practice good time management. What are the strategies for better time management? The first thing is you must know how you spend your time. If you've got to manage your time well, know how you spend your time. The second thing that you must do is that you must set your priorities. You need to distinguish what is important and what is urgent. Yeah? So spend less time on things that are urgent but not important. You see, there are many of us who spend so much time on what is urgent but not important. And you can get more of that in uh, the interview that I did on Metropo TV on how to speed up your career because many times leaders never are, are not able to stick to what is important and what is urgent there are things you can delegate there are things you can delete and there are things that can wait yeah that is why some people make a to-do list the third strategy is you must use a planning tool in other words do not put everything in your head huh don't say I'm clever. <laughs> I know everything. No, free your mind to focus on your activities. So put it in writing. Note it. Do your schedules and have it written down. The other strategy is you can actually get organized. You know, disorganization results in poor time management. People who waste a lot of time are simply disorganized. In other words, you need to get rid of the clutter. How do you do that? Huh? You need to have options on how you handle your information. Some information, you delete it. You throw it away. Some information, you delegate. You give someone else to do. Huh? For some information, you file it temporarily until it needs action. Or you simply file it permanently. Get organized. The other way you need, uh, the other strategy for better time management, you need to schedule your time appropriately. 
I said the other day in the interview in Metropole that most people who say they are busy are simply lazy. What are you busy doing? You know, most of the busiest people, by the way, huh? uh, they are really not that busy, just that they are doing everything at the same time. But someone who is organized, someone who knows how to manage their time, they will always find time for what they want to do and feel as important. However busy you are, you will always find time for what you want to do and what you feel is important. That is why if someone tells you, I'm very busy, I cannot meet you, they are lying. They, you are simply not important to them. <laughs> All right. The other strategy for better time management is delegate. You manage your time better if you can get help from others. Assign responsibility for tasks to someone else so that you can free up time for things that require your expertise. If you're a leader, delegate. Most leaders listening to me today really delegate. You want to do everything. Hey, you will never manage your time. Assign responsibility to people who can do what you want to do. Free yourself to do what requires your expertise. The other key strategy for better time management is you need to stop procrastinating. In other words, you need to put off tasks you can do now. Many times we become busy because we are procrastinating. There are things we can do now, but you are like, ah, nitafanya next week. So next week comes, you have things that you should be doing next week. And you, are, you know, they keep piling. So stop procrastinating. Huh? The other key strategy for better time management is you need to manage your external time wasters. Many of us are time wasters. And they are time wasters because there is this small talk, gossip. Avoid those kind of talk. If you are fine small talk, stand up while you're talking on phone. Huh? You will keep it brief. You see, there are people who, <laughs> who will call you nam naongea like for three hours, eh? And nikitumoja tu mnaenda rao, you know? You can manage them by avoiding those kind of talk. If someone calls you and you know they will stick on phone, stand up while you're talking on phone. Because that way you're sure you keep the conversation brief. And of course, take action immediately, you know? Arrive on time. If you have a meeting, arrive on time. That's another thing I'll talk about. How do you manage a meeting? Because sometimes you find people, uh, leaders are in meetings, managers are in meetings the whole day and they are discussing one small thing. Yeah? Arrive on time. Yeah? Know the purpose of the meeting eh? in advance. Eh? Yeah? And even send all those things that you need to send on time. And start on time and add meetings on time. On, on time. That's how you manage external time wasters. Because meetings can also waste your time. When people don't come for a meeting on time, when people have no idea what is the purpose of the meeting in advance, when people never keep time. In integrity, if you cannot keep time, you're simply out of integrity with time. Okay? Finally for today, avoid multitasking. Many of us are, uh, you know, we are always multitasking. Oh, me, I can do two things at the same time. Uh -uh. If you want to manage your time well, avoid multitasking. Those are a few strategies that you can use for better time management. I would like you to tell me in the comment section, what strategies have you been using to manage your time better? And then also tell me, what is it that you have been doing that you feel has been wasting your time or making you not manage your time better? The leadership conversation continues. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like this video. Leave us a comment and share this video. And also let us know what topics would you want us to talk about in leadership. Until next time, keep it locked and God bless you.